Hello, my name is Haley Webb, and this is my disposition to teach for UNV 108 with Dr. Lynn Basco. When I opened the disposition worksheet and read through the dispositions, I thought, how could you not strongly agree that each disposition is just as important as the next? Of the dispositions listed, these are the ones that held significant meaning to me. The first disposition was that educators should believe that all students can learn and should set and support realistic expectations for student success. All students have the ability to learn and there should never be a time when students are overlooked or discounted simply because a unique ability they are born with. With consistency and other accommodating strategies, all students can be successful in the classroom setting. The next disposition that stood out to me was educators should recognize that reflection combined with experience leads to growth as a professional. Even as teachers, we should never stop learning. We should always maintain the eagerness to participate in professional development that will continue to build our skill set and make us even more effective in our roles as educators. When students see our enthusiasm to learn, they will be just as motivated. A disposition that I can work on as it relates to becoming an educator would be Educators understand the effect of community involvement and servant leadership as it applies to the welfare of others in the educational setting. While I do understand how important it is for the community to become involved in the education of its children, as of right now, I don't know if I would know how to implement and facilitate this type of interaction in the classroom. I look forward to learning more about this and making it a vital part of who I am as an educator and what I want for my classroom. Lastly, there are several qualities and traits that educators should have in order to be effective in their school, their students, and the families they will work with on a daily basis. Educators must have compassion, patience, flexibility, and care. They must also be able to work well with others, have good communication skills, and lead their classroom knowing with God all things are possible. Thank you for taking this time to listen to my dispositions to teach video, and I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you.